Hi Taurus, I just forgot to say a happy damn birthday to you. I truly hope you have a wonderful birthday. I truly hope that your solar return is everything that you uh, everything that you want it to be. And more importantly, remember to fill that day with a little bit of everything that you want in your entire year ahead. This is Taurus season, baby. Here we go. Let's get into that luxury. Um, I'm looking forward to it, I have to say. With that said, um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you so much for all of your support over the last year. And remember, if you are not on my mailing list, you can get that on the link in the description box below because you can get 30% off of my three and six month numerology reading you will only get the code it's going to go out at the beginning of Taurus season you'll only get the code if you are on my mailing list so you can get on that in the link in the description box below with that said happy damn birthday to you once again thank you so much take care and i'll see you in a moment here's your reading Hi Taurus, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Taurus, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine, you should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Your key to the week this week is the magician card, so if you've been waiting, if you feel like you've been waiting, if you feel like you've been almost like pen, penned in or hemmed in, this week you're going to be able to flex your power this is where you're going to be able to take charge of something and bring it to life I actually like in the image that I have in my mind is like um you know like they say that uh, you know God breathed life into human beings this is the week where you get to speak life into your dreams this is going to be a very powerful week for you guys whenever the magician card shows up this is you being elevated in some way it's you being pushed to the next level but it's also a moment of pure and powerful recognition this is where you have the ear of the universe and it is also one of those weeks where in all of these different sectors of your life you get to choose to manifest something differently so pay attention and be present with that said if you are a continued subby you know Rafi loves you and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit the subscribe button for your actions and options you have the five of swords right so I talked about this if you haven't seen the weekly general please check it out um, unfortunately there are times where if we want our dream we have to fight for it right we have to be ready willing and able to stand up and have the hard conversation to tell that person to do one to ask the employee to pull their finger out and get on with the damn job um, and this isn't saying that you have license this week to be mean what it is saying is you may have to say something or do something that feels like oh you know what I wish I didn't have to do this but it's like the difference between getting what it is that you want to, to happen or to evolve or to manifest is going to be whether you have the heart the guts or the courage to say what needs to be said and do what needs to be done and there are times where you know it's it's not easy where you do have to kind of stand your ground or maybe even you know draw a line for some of you it's the five of swords after all which is a card of conflict challenges as well so this suggests to me that part of whatever built dream you're trying to build at this moment in time is literally about you speaking up and speaking out you got you, you know you're going to have to show up in some way for your communications and conversations you have the star card with the magician that's very powerful and it really does suggest you have the ear of the universe remember the star card is a glimpse into our future so through your communications through your conversations through the things that you share with people on that verbal level if you, there was ever a time for you to speak life into your the lifescape of your of, into your own lifescape this is it right you have to check every single word that's coming out of your mouth is it high vibrational is it heading helping you head towards and this isn't so much i mean our self-talk is always a thing right it's always a thing 
but your actual speech, the words that you speak out into the world have a very powerful impact. So pay attention this week to what you're saying to people. Are you deprecating yourself? Are you speaking bad of your dreams? Are you um, playing small because it feels more comfortable? Whatever it might be, right? This week, you, you gotta get ahead of this. For those of you that are studying, this could be a powerful week where you are really getting clear on where it is that you can master something. This might be the week where your studies, whatever it, they, they may be, finally make sense to you. And it might be a time where you decide that, you know what, I'm not at that level yet, but when the time comes, I am ready to teach this. This is what I want to do. This is a moment of realization for some of you. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could literally see you looking at that top spot and deciding, yeah, you know what, three, five, 10 years from now, that's where I wanna be. It's like, and you, you might run into a mentor, a teacher, maybe you look at a manager or like a, a CEO or whatever, and you kind of think, yeah, you know what? I want that job, I want that top position. Uh, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, this is where you're ready to disrupt your industry. This is where you are ready to do something in a very new way to bring new technology in, uh, quite possibly as well to find new uh, areas of business as well to expand into. It's a very exciting week. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is really the plans that you have to enjoy that retirement and whoever's pissing on the fireworks, it's like this week you're gonna let them know. For your uh, love and relations, you have the nine of wands. It's a very interesting card to have here. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, you've got the nine of wands here and the five of swords in your actions and options. This may be a hard conversation that you have to have with a partner or a loved one. This might be where you're having to say, look, you know, I'm trying to do this, this, and this, and I don't feel like you're aligned with this. You don't have to be on board with me, but it would be nice to at least have some sort of... Um, in-house support, I guess, is the, the, the word that I, I need to use. Um, the other thing is as well, for some of you, this might also be a, a time where you realize the wound in the relationship is the way that you've been approaching it. Um, you, you know, that's a, 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 I know it's a heavy statement, but I'm putting it out there. For those of you that are single, this may also be a time where you realize the reason that you are single, the reason that you haven't found the relationship that's really the one or that it clicks. It's not so much that you, th you, you think too highly of yourself, it's that you don't give people um, room to disappoint you. Right, and, and this is really, really important. When it comes to relationships, we tend to chuck the partner, whoever the, this person is that comes into our world, we chuck them straight on that pedestal, and straight away it's like, ah, oh, you can do no wrong, you walk on water. And then one day you realize, oh shit, this person's human. And you know what? Their habits, the way that they chew, the leaving their towel on the floor, or you know, something, something that they do that is human, that is normal, or, you know, just a part of them being who they are, really pisses us off. And it's like, well, no, that's that's it then. Um, this may be a uh, way, it's, because it's the nine of wands, right? So this is a wound of some sort that's being revealed to you about this, and it may be showing you, and it's not about having impossibly high standards. Everyone should have high standards. If you're gonna let someone into your home, your bed, your bank account, and all the rest of it, we should all have high standards. But we should also be leaving room for some sort of disappointment, because ultimately we're all just human beings. We can never always be on and always be perfect, right? Um, perfection doesn't exist anyway, so that's a whole other topic. <laughs> but be prepared to have these conversations this week. And if you are single, it might be a friend that highlights this to you. If you're partnered, it might be a partner that highlights to this to you. And it could be a really sobering experience that takes you to the next level, because it's once you realize that, it's really hard to keep perpetuating that um, experience, right? Then th at that point, it's no longer unconscious, it's a choice. For your money and materials, you have the Father of Cups, which is the King of Cups. 
So money looks good this week, right? The King of Cups is about nourishing your dreams, goals, visions with your emotional energy. And anything that we put our emotional energy into grows. It can but grow. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, you've got, so when it comes to your money, should I say, uh, you've got the star here, you've got the magician here. This is, you've got all the components and now you just really need to feel into it. Now you really need to believe it. Um, that King of Cups could be somebody that takes a liking or a shining to you that kind of says, you know what, in order to take things to your next level, you're going to need this. So it's like you're getting that final piece of the puzzle. For those of you, uh, for your physical health and vitality, this is a great card in that if you're seeing a doctor, a specialist, and some of you it looks like you will be this week, ask the hard questions, absolutely, right? Like if you don't like the opinion that you're getting, just say, well, you know what, I want a second opinion. Like don't be afraid to press for it, especially if this is your health we're talking about. But it does suggest that you're seeing a specialist, that whoever you're working with really knows their stuff. And the reason I say this, the King of Cups is usually a therapist, a counselor, doctor, healer of some kind, coupled with the magician. This is someone that really knows what they're doing. But even still, you are in your body. Don't be afraid to, to, to ask the hard questions. And then when it comes to the home and environment, that King of Cups is really highlighting to you where, the, where there is a need for more softness. All right, not luxury, you're Taurus, you do that stuff in your sleep, more softness. And I think this week is, is gonna highlight to you where you could bring more of that in. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Don't forget to check out your uh, weekly general and don't forget to check out your um, uh, new moon and full moon videos that I'm putting out fortnightly at the moment. Take care and I'll see you soon.